Hi everybody, welcome back to another video, and today's video is DIY wands. This video will consist of two different types of wands. One will be a functional type for actual casting, and the other will be Halloween props. So to start, you're going to want to use a basic wooden dowel. I got mine from Family Dollar and some cheap sandpaper of about 150 grit to sand off all the outside coating that is on it. Round out any edges and basically get it down into the general shape that you want. You can also sand it down to a point, but I just wanted to get the basic coating off of it. Taking the wooden dowels that you've now sanded, choosing two different sizes for me, I chose the largest in the pack and a medium size from the pack, sanded it all out and brought down the edges and made it to where the glue will actually stick. Then start hot gluing on your design. This one I went with a almost Harry Potter vibe, but I wanted it to be super, super cheesy like some of them you find over at a dollar store. And that's what I ended up doing with a lot of the hot glue just adding on more and more and more until it looked about right. At this point I really wanted to build up the bottom end of the wand to make it almost like an easy grip. If you don't want to build up the bottom end of the wand you can also add on a wrist strap if you would like using the hot glue and some ribbon or rope. I didn't want to do that so I just ended up building up the end a lot and adding in extra little dots into the actual wand. I will add more to the end of the wand but as of right now I wanted it to dry. Try to give a decent amount of time between your gluing for dry so it can cool down. Once you've got your desired look down and the glue has had time to dry, go ahead and start painting it. I added a little extra off camera to the handle of the wand so that I had a better grip on it and I gave it more of a swirly look. And then I painted it pink with black handle and gold glitter. Taking the larger of the two wooden dowels that you've sanded and a knife of some kind, I just use a box cutter, and very carefully whittle at the end that you want. You can whittle this down to a fine point, as you will see, or you can whittle it down just enough so you can sand it out and smooth it out to a round tip, but I really enjoyed the point. I did use the same grit sandpaper all the way through for every wand on this. It's all 150 grit. Next, carve out a small niche in the bottom of the wand to add on any extra wiring or you can feed some lace through there, but I just carved it just enough for some floral wire, taking a pair of needle nose pliers to make sure that the wire is set into the niche nice and smoothly, add on some extra glue at the bottom when you're ready, and then start winding up the wire. You can get a longer piece and wind it down twice, or you can add on an extra 
bit of wire at the top, but I really like the way that this one turned out with the way the wire looks. Next is the handle. I chose to go with the satin ribbon and the lace ribbon because I didn't like the way the jute looked. And I ended up not wrapping the satin quite right because of a big gap on the bottom. I tried to cover it, but it still didn't turn out quite right, and I'm not very happy with the way the handle turned out. But when you go to do the handle, make sure that you glue it to where it covers up the whole bottom, and then wrap it up to about the length of the hand that you're going to be using it for. Then hot glue it down, making sure that you've melted the end so it doesn't fray, and add on any extra lace for any decoration or covering up any flaws. I wanted to add a little extra glam to this wand, so I chose to add some glitter to it. I chose purple. I got this glitter from Dollar Tree, so it's really easy to get a hold of. For the bottom of it, I just added on a little extra hot glue and squished it into the glitter. For the top end of it, as you will see, I pulled out some Maj Paj, rolled it on the end of the wand so that it had a nice decent coating, and then rolled the end of the wand into the glitter so that it would have a really pretty glittery look. Next is clear coat. Once you've gotten both the first wands taken care of, you're going to want to start with a clear coat, making sure to add two to three coats on any exposed wood or glitter or painted areas so that it doesn't peel off in your hands. Next is the actual functioning wands. I decided that I would just use a small branch that was kind of just a really funny shape with a really big knot in it. Then you're going to want to either whittle off all the bark or a certain amount. I just chose a certain amount because I really love the way the green bark looked. Sanding the whole thing so that it's very easy to paint or clear coat over the top of it. And then rounding out the end so it's a little bit smoother and it doesn't peel apart after clear coat. A neat trick I learned when I was making wands was that if you put a sponge or something underneath it like that, it allows the wand to sit further into the sandpaper and it gets a way better sanding on it and you can sand around tighter edges. Next, taking floral wire if you want to add any extra design to it. I chose a gold floral wire because it doesn't rust away. And then I fed it into the small crack that was naturally in the wood, wrapped it around, and then took the end, twisted it into a small loop, and made sure that it wouldn't come loose, adding a little extra glue to be extra certain, and then added on a charm. Once you're done adding on the charm, next you have to 
add some sort of clear coat or a stain to it. I just added a super high gloss clear coat, added a lot on it so it was super shiny, and then it was finished. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe, and let me know down in the comment section if you've ever made anything like this before or if you're going to now.